Now to Nashville and a community struggling after that deadly school shooting. Hundreds of people came together last night for a citywide vigil honoring the three school workers and three nine-year-old children who were killed. Earlier in the day, First Lady Joe Biden visited the memorial outside of Covenant School where the violence unfolded. Janice Shamlin has more from Nashville. I lift my voice up into Nashville, Tennessee. Nashville turned to what it's best known for, music. There's a better home awaiting. In hopes of healing after unfathomable tragedy. Our police officers have cried and are crying with Nashville and the world. City leaders, victims, families, and First Lady Dr. Jill Biden gathering Wednesday to mourn the six lives lost. Nashville has had its worst today. Our heart is broken. Our city united as we mourn together. And recognize the officers who ran toward the gunfire to stop the shooter. We are grateful to the team of officers who rushed into that school building without hesitation. Just before the vigil, Dr. Biden visited the memorial outside the Covenant School, pausing at each victim's photo before leaving flowers. The growing tribute has become a place of comfort. You can feel the sadness in, in the city right now. It's, it's really overwhelming. We're hurting right now, pretty badly. City Council member Russ Pulley represents Covenant's district. He says staff members died trying to protect the kids. Catherine Kuntz heard the shots, ended the Zoom call immediately and abruptly left that meeting and left her office. Police officers found Kuntz's body just outside her office. Would it surprise you to learn that she had gone out and confronted an active shooter? Oh no, I would absolutely expect that from Catherine Kuntz and uh, principals. That's what educators and administrators do. They protect their children. And this morning, we're learning more about some of the other victims, like nine-year-old Hallie Scruggs. Her aunt posting on Facebook that she was incredibly smart and had a love for life that kept her smiling. Heartbreaking stuff, Gail. And another reminder, she was nine years old. Those, it's those stories that get you every time. Thank you, Janet. Thank you very much.